So it's been 24 hours since the start of a new event and I thought, yeah, okay, now's the time to actually release the video. So let's go check it out. I'm Admiral Pegasus, this is The Pegasus Show. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, as you see above me, yes, we had a news update yesterday and it actually came in smack bang on time at event change. Well, it did for me. I don't know how it fell for everybody else. But as you can see by the little time of this, it's one day, two hours ago. And obviously it was dropped and it was just informed us about a new event, which I don't recall actually seeing in the, um, in the calendar. So this was actually a nice one. And it provided an interesting challenge, and it was actually quite good. It didn't last very long, all of about five minutes, but it was something new, it was something different, and it was definitely, it was a challenge. But anyway, let's just have a quick look at what the information that the provider does. <coughs> so, fear exists for one purpose, to be conquered, by Captain Janeway. Now, obviously she says that during the season, and it is... Um, it, it's around with Seven of Nine. It's got something to do with Seven of Nine. I remember that much. But beyond that, that's that's as much as I can remember. That. So sorry I can't give you any trivia on that one. But anyway, the Delta Quadrant is shrouded in mystery and played with dangers. As Voyager navigates the labyrinth of uncharted space, our forces in the Alpha Quadrant face an antithetical problem at home, confronting new otherworldly threats. <laughs> The Delta, in the Delta Adversary Arc event, commanders will have to make a choice on how to deal with our new visitors from the Delta Quadrant. Players who choose the dip, uh, diplomacy will seek to communicate and negotiate with the forces from the Delta Quadrant. They can expect events tailored around the officers, station and away team's assignments and gathering resources. On the other hand, players who choose the offense will seek to prepare their military strength and for battle with the forces of the Delta Quadrant in an epic struggle to the end. They can expect events tailored around their fleet, research and defeated hostiles and armadas in the Delta Quadrant. So yes, uh, by looks of it, formation armadas on that one. Uh, participate in the Delta Adversary events throughout the Voyager arc to earn Diplomatic Offensive Protocol commendations. These commendations will be used to unlock unique limited time rewards at the end of the arc. Hmm, so very interesting there. So we're going to have some limited time rewards. Are they actually going to be any better than the rewards that we get right now? Well, we can hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm not being um, too thrilled so far with this event, this arc. It seems a bit... <clears throat> but hey ho Oh, it, there's only one way to go, and that is up. So, the first one then, that we had launched yesterday. Now, it's literally lasting for 15 days. I saw on the clock, 15 days, 3 hours, so it's a it's quite a long one. Um, there's an SMS meta and an SMS, both for levels 10 through 60. And it's Unknown Adversary. That is the overall um, meta, as it's called, and we'll, we'll go into the events and show you that in a minute. Um, Delta Data Part 1 SMS. Now, this was basically completing a puzzle. And what you had to do is fly in to a specific system and use a specific Halion frequency. We'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, Delta Data Part 2 is going to start on the 20th of May. So keep an eye out for it. And again, it's going to be solving um, some puzzles to complete the event. And again, using the scanning Halion frequency. Again, I'll show you which one that is, because we will come across it. And then, the following week, launches the 27th, is going to be um, Diplomatic Sub-Protocol Alpha, or S Offensive Sub-Protocol Alpha. And basically, what it is, is it's going to go through using what you've already 
seen up above. So for the dipl- diplomacy side, you're station or spending officer XP. So get saving. Or better yet, nip on across to Tiger Core and really grind that reputation out. Or you can also, um, with the offensive, you're going to have your research or spending ship XP. Now, ship XP, if you don't have a lot of it, make sure you've got plenty of latinum in the vault because you can use latinum with your ship XP. You can with the officer XP as well, but um, it's easier to procure the officer um, XP than it is the ship XP. So, just a couple of ideas there. Now, what they are going to actually look like when they actually launch, I do not know. But, safe to say, yeah. It could be something like that unexpected um, domination event that we actually got yesterday. And, yeah, nice Latinum payouts. Pain in the ass to complete. But, anyway. So, let's jump on over to the events. And we'll show you the Delta Adversary. So, here it is, Delta Adversary. Nice little logo there. That's got to be the diplomatic, I'm presuming, and that will be your offensive. But they was what piqued my interest. Now, a lot of us obviously clicked on to what they were quite quickly. And it's a case of knowing your map. Yes, you have to know your map. Because the description in every single one of these is exactly the same. But obviously, you've got to go find it and scan it. And then you're going to earn, if we can get it up... And it's not it's not going to bother. But we earn some of those glows, which looks like it looks like it's the planet Earth in it. So but you get 25 there. So you get 75 for the first three days. And I'm going to guess it's going to be the same next week as well when we get the next three. Um, but obviously, uh, we received um, a highly classified docket of intelligence from the crew of the Starship Voyager. Uh, they were able to partially decrypt the data of a demolished Borg cube discovered in the Delta Quadrant. These appear to be star charts of the Alpha Quadrant. We'll touch on that little aspect in a second. Use them to pinpoint the system of interest. Use scanners to, um, in the system to see if you can find any information on the mysterious perpetrator. Using the scan inhaling frequency um, in the correct system. Use this information provided on the event card. So it's this one. Now, if you actually look at this, you've got to look about the way the systems are laid out. Now, as you'll notice later on with the other two, it's rotated. Yes, it has been rotated. So you really do need to actually look. Now, our first one, if we actually look at the outside line and where it is, and then you kind of look at the systems there, you can tell they are hub systems straight away. So you're looking for two, which one of them has got an extended arm, and the second one has got even the evenly sp- evenly spaced from the center hub. But then this outer rim just goes around the outside, but they both meet up at the top, and they both meet up at the bottom. And then there's a slight offshoot, and then flying out. Well, of course, if you actually know your map very well, that is Federation space. And it is the system Lalanli. Now, let's go and have a look where Lalanli is. When the game catches up with me. So, let's zoom out of territory. Fly on up to Federation Space. And if we can just zoom in just enough. Let's get these out of the way. So, as you can see from it. And if we put Pagem slightly out, what you'll see is the two systems, the two systems at the top. Now, the bottom of those two systems there, the closest to us, is actually where you want to go. But look how it goes and goes out and then both lines connect up with Pagem. And then obviously, the ones further down also do. But again, this, this system here is Jemet. It's got this little offshoot which is Angosia. And then, of course, you've got Doskush. You can see we've got somebody in there, so I don't need to. But the other th- six systems are relatively evenly spaced. So the answer, of course, is obviously going to be, as I said, L- Landley. So basically what you've got to do is just go into the system with a starship. Now, obviously, we won't, won't quite be going into the, star- into the system because 
and it's going to take me a while to get a ship there. But what you'll need to do is you'll, you'll need to use your hailing frequencies. And then you'll need to use this one here. Now, if we actually click on another ship and manage it, and we go on there, and what you'll see is you'll see assigned hailing frequency. And if you actually look across the line there with the one I've got as clicked as viewed, it's called scanning. There you go. That's the one you need to use, and you'll need to use this to scan every single system. So basically, you are an imperfect being, created by an imperfect being. Finding your weakness is only a matter of time. Yeah, so we're going to scan for it. So basically, just go into the system and scan it. Boom, job's got it. Same with the other two. Now, let's have a look where the other two are. Now, what you'll, see, what you'll notice is with the second one, you're thinking... Okay, I don't really recognize any patterns on there. But by the looks of it, you've got a central system with a number of systems coming off it. Now, the way we're looking at it is coming off to the left. And then we've got this extra bit where you could potentially say, like, I don't know. It's a, well, a zigzag sort of thing. So, okay, so we're looking for something with a zigzag. Now, nothing quite matches it. But if you look closely at your map and what you'll find down here is you will find that system there with the long offshoot here to Ferenginar. And then just below Ferenginar, if we zoom in a little bit more, oh, you've got a zigzag. Oh my God, there you go. And there's your connection line as well. But the system we obviously want that was highlighted is Ferenginar. Yes. So you got to go there and again use the hate, use the scanning emote, um, alien frequency, scan it. Jobs are good. And now the third one of this week was, in my opinion, is a bit more of a controversial decision on why they chose this particular one. But the one thing is, I recognized it straight away. And some of you probably will. Now, <laughs> If we take where the system is, there's a, there's a nice little kink, shall we say. And then obviously it's connected to a couple of systems and a long one straight up to a system that's got a, well, it's just over a 90 degree parallel off and then a couple of other lines. Well, that to me was easily recognizable for me because it's something I traveled quite frequently. In fact, I do it multiple times a day and for those who are unsure where that is, which I'm, I'm sure you've probably got it by now, but if we fly over here to Romulan space, oh, hang on, let me zoom out a wee bit. Oh, look at that. We've got our king going from Kowalski to Nudushta. I'm, I'm probably torturing these names, to, to Nabuk. So you got that, and then it goes off to Draken. Now, Zova Ren also was the system highlighted as another system, but it wasn't the system we wanted. It was actually Nastura. Now, my problem, and a someone in my eyes actually mentioned this, and I have to agree. Romulan territory is not in the Alpha Quadrants. Anyone who knows Star Trek canon knows the Romulans are situated in the Beta Quadrant, along with the Klingons. Yes. But yet, this is supposed to be an Alpha Quadrant thing, so why have we got Beta Quadrant. But it is scopely. And to be perfectly fair, right. How many times did they refer to the Klingons and the Romulans as an Alpha Quadrant species in Voyager? How many times? Quite a few. So, when they were actually mentioned. So, Nastru um, Nash Oh, uh, You know where you That one there. Yeah, that's where you go. And that's where you do the final one. And obviously you collect your um, three to once you've got your three tokens, that's it. Jobs are good. Now you just have to wait for the following week. So if we can just get it. Um, lag's been really playing a bloody blinder with me this last few days. <coughs> so every time you obviously complete these things, you're going to get an extra shard of an officer. As you can see, we've got three Bologna and one Doctor. Woohoo! Yeah. Not exactly um, high level rewards, are they? But for, but like I said, it was simple. It took me five minutes. Um, it was like, 
yeah, just a few of us in our alliance working together to actually come up with this and get it sorted. But that's the event. What's going to come up next week, I really do not know. But I'm actually really intrigued to see it. Can't wait, actually. Makes a change than me being... Uh... But anyway, like I say, this month is actually not particularly planning. It's only the beginning of the month as well. But it seems a little bit flat, in my opinion. So, I mean, the events we got is obviously testing field. Huh, really? I just took all six ships out to... Um, if we actually just call it up. All, all six ships out to an area in the Delta Quadrant. A, a level 34 system. And I just went smacking every single ship I could. 90 ships. Boom. Jobs got done. Why bother with the Cerritos or the Titan A at all? So. But anyway. That's the kind of events we've been getting. So. That's it. So leave the comments in the section down below what you think of this, um, the actual event that we've got, the Delta Adversary. And yeah, and that's it really. So I'm Admiral Pegasus. This has been the Pegasus Show, showing off the Delta Adversary. And I shall catch you on the next, well, actually, I'll probably be on the live stream on Tuesday night. So until then, take care, stay safe, live long and prosper, and I shall catch you on Tuesday night. Goodbye. Yes, honey. Thank you for staying quiet. My bottles had a little leak in. Okay, let's go have a look.